guys, it's Courtney here, and I apologize for the quality of this video. I was not initially planning on recording um, tonight, so I didn't bring my main camera up over my studio. This is just with my phone. Um, but I decided to um, go ahead and put together this Behringer baby um, that I, I realized that there wasn't really much that I can do in terms of painting him. I honestly love him slash her just how she is. I might wind up changing her eyes at some point. Um, they're not quite as realistic as I would like. Um, I might consider doing that um, later on because I do not have that size eyes. Those eyes are much... Actually, you know what? I might... Now that I say that, I might be wrong. I might actually have those eyes. Um, so, but what I wanted to do <clears throat> is show you guys how you can turn this full vinyl baby into... Um, one that you could put on a cloth body. So this body I had custom made. Um, the law newborns are about 14 inches long. Um, I know that they, I, I don't 100% know if the, um, it, it, the only ones that I have seen at like Walmart are Caucasian babies. I'm not 100% sure if the darker skin um, or the even the Asian babies were um, available at Walmart or Target. But I think they're now called like Lots to Love or something like that. Um, but they are initially a Behringer. But you can find them like on eBay if you type in La L A newborns, La newborns. Um, they have these that you can you know people are selling. Um, but don't pay more than I would say at most forty dollars because some people try to um, trick you and they'll put like a different outfit on the doll and sell it for a hundred. Don't do that. They're not worth that. <laughs> um, I think that there are some like special edition ones out there that might be worth more. Um, but don't, you know, fall for the trick of like, oh, they put an outfit on it. It's considered a reborn now. Um, I've seen many people try to sell La Duborns for that price and, and they're not worth it. Like they're just not. So just FYI. Um, but this one, and I also have one that I am working on that I'm going to be reborning, and I have a set of videos that I'm going to be making, um, basically as like a kind of a step-by-step -step reborning a play doll, um, because these are available, I think, for, for $19.99 at Walmart, <clears throat> and it's just like this baby, except it's, um, this is the Caucasian version, it has like painted hair, and so I will get to that later on, but for now... Um, without the painting aside, this baby is already super adorable, but I just want it to be on a cloth body to make them more poseable, um, and more, you know, cuddly, etc. So, one thing that you would do when you would get this doll is, um, you would want to cut, this has already been done, as you can see, but you would want to cut, um, down each of the sides, and then eventually, of course, be able to pull the doll apart to where you have now you can actually um, with a little bit of force you can pull the arms and legs from the vinyl body before you start to cut and the other thing you want to do is when it's like this this little piece here um, tends to sit like here to put the keep the head in place I also cut this out as well and a lot of times I will trim um, basically you want to be able to make sure that like if the doll's on a cloth body that there will be some movement so you might have to trim along the top of the um, tummy plate as well as the back plate. I did some trimming along here for example I kind of laid them down and see I wanted the head to be able to prop up like this when on the cloth body etc. So um, yeah so they said but for the most part you're just cutting your torso in half um, to be on the safe side if you want to you could use like a pencil to draw down each side so that you could get them even um, But the one thing you don't want to do is um, I mean you don't want to trim this area. I think that this area is quite useful to have um, You could try to trim some of the inside. I actually did that because it stuck out quite a bit more I did go in and trim you'll be able to see those steps in some future videos that I've made um, but just telling you how to do it right now. So you have the two pieces. You don't even have to use these, by the way. If you don't want the tummy and back plate, that's no worries. Um, the main parts to have are the arms, the legs, the head, <clears throat> and then this piece right here, because this is what's going to connect your head 
to the body. So you are going to, and it's up to you if you want to weight the limbs or not. Honestly, I'm a little, I'm debating because the limbs are actually, they're, they're a very, they're a firmer and they're a solid vinyl. So they're actually a little bit on the heavy side as they are. Um, but I still, um, yeah, like, so for me, I'm probably not going to fill the limbs because it's just going to be more of a pain to do that, in my opinion. If you want to, you could make this hole a little bit bigger so it would be easier to stuff in the glass beads and the polyfill. Um, but, again, they, they are a pretty decent weight on, on their own, so I'm just going to put them to the body, but I will be weighting the body, and I'll be weighting the head a little bit. So we're going to go ahead... And um, I got this body custom made. There's a couple people um, who like, you can find on Facebook. Or you can even, like, Spearson's doll bodies. Um, if you just Google, like, reborn doll bodies, sometimes you can find some artists who will do them. Or um, you can just look for a few places that would sell, like, you know, 14-inch. These are um, full non-jointed full limbs with side loading legs because these go on to the side like this instead of it being you know like connected here in the front these go all the way to the thigh area or really to the hip pelvis area all right so we're going to put the leggies on i'm going to get my uh cuticle cutters here so we can cut the cable ties yeah, if the vinyl was, like, any squishier, um, I would more than likely, um, make the effort to wait and stuff them, but they are a nice, solid vinyl, so you don't have to worry about them, you know, squishing or anything like that, and they do have some good weight to them. Alright, so now that we have this, um, I am going to go ahead and be stuffing some of the polyfill down into the tushy area such a small baby so it's hard to get my hand out in there completely okay here we go oops <laughs> all right so we do have a little bit of firmness in there now so I'm going to I went ahead and like pre filled a um, stocking with glass beads hopefully it's not too big I think it'll be just right. There we go. It's pretty good. <coughs> and it's not too heavy because you don't want the baby to be un unrealistically heavy. And especially if you are making this, if you're making this for a child, I recommend using poly pellets, which are these right here. Um, <coughs> sorry guys, you, these don't give as much weight as the um, glass bees do. So sometimes you can get um, like heavier forms of poly pellets or like like I don't know more of like a metal bead or something like that um, they're a little bit they're just a bit safer than glass beads because glass beads are literally tiny pieces of glass um, and you don't want to ever risk them busting open in your child inhaling them or something like that so if you are making it for a child I do very much recommend to not use glass beads I am going to put, let's see, do I want to do the, yeah, <clears throat> I have some angel soft polyfill that I usually use to fill, like, the, um, torso areas of my babies, so we'll go ahead and do that with this one as well. <clears throat> Sorry, I've been, I've gotten over my cold, but I've been left with a cough, so my voice is a little bit, <laughs> I got a frog in my throat. And you want to make sure that you basically just move it in all the areas so you don't feel the, um, the glass bead bag in there. Because you want to make it feel more realistic. Okay. So there's that. Oh, I'm so excited. So cute. Such a tiny little baby. Alright, so we're going to go ahead. A little bit more sides here. And we're going to go ahead and put the arms in. I 
You want to make sure that you position the arms and the legs as well um, how you want them to be. Um, so I'm going to have the arms about right here because it will be able to move a little bit up and down. And then we tighten into place. There we go. Move one. And two. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so now I'm going to cut this off. Oops, let me put my Angel Soft. Probably feel it to stick, stick, stick everywhere to clothing and all that fun stuff. And neon, where are my cuticle clippers? There we go. Go ahead and cut these off. Just making sure they're tight enough. There we go. And the other side. And of course, any any play doll that you can get, you can put on a soft body if it doesn't come with a soft body. But the reason why this one is, I just wanted to give you a tip, is because obviously the head. You know, most Reborn kits come with, like, the flange coming down so you're able to connect a cable tie to hold the head onto the body. But this one doesn't, and that's why this little piece here is important. So, um, this will be a bit different than maybe some of you are used to, but it is the best way to do it, and it works really well. So, I'm going to, I just put a little bit of a farmer polyfill up at the top. And we're going to put our cable tie through. And then we are going to add this piece down into the body. <coughs> and around the head, just like that. There we go. And yes, this is how we are going to attach our head um, onto the body. So now making sure that's firmly in place, it is. All right. So basically what you're going to wind up doing with this is you're going to be pushing the head back up onto this area. Now, the question is, uh, can you weight the head? And the answer to that is yes, you can weight the head. Sorry, there was something, <laughs> there was something down in the head. Um, you can. I would not overweight it because you don't want to risk um, the possibility of the head trying to fall back off. Um, but yeah, you absolutely can um, do the head. One, I, one thing I am going to try to do real quick is I'm going to heat up the head and I'm going to try to replace the eyes um, before I put the head back on. So um, I might take a break with the video, but when I come back, um, we'll see if he has new eyes and we'll put the uh, head back on. Alright guys, so I did wind up replacing his eyes, and oh my goodness, I'm so glad I did. They are so cute. So before, where are the other eyes? These are, had definitely had much more of a doll look to them, kind of like grainy inside, whereas these are a nice chocolate brown, and they're gorgeous, and he is so sweet. So what we are going to do with him is we are going to, I'm just going to take a very small um, stocking here. And I'm going to put some glass beads in it. Let me get my container. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. Because my container is heavy. Okay. There we go. And I'm just I'm just putting some um, glass beads in the stocking real quick. So sorry if I'm off frame for a second. Again, we don't want them to be too heavy, so I think I'm just going to do, this was literally one, um, one half cup full of, uh, glass beads, and I think that's going to be plenty, because he's a little guy. You don't want him to be, you know, too heavy. I'm just going to double knot it here. Alright. Perfect. 
And then we're going to go ahead and set this inside. I'm just going to stuff it in. And then we're going to add some polyfill around it. Um, when I wait, I put the, um, the glass beads in the front of the face, actually, front of the head. It does help the head flop a little more realistically, whereas if you put it in the back of the head, it almost does it, you know, too much. So, there we go. So, it's nice and stuffed. There he is. And we're literally just going to force the head onto the final plug here. Sometimes heating it does help, which we might wind up doing. I think we're going to do that. You don't want to heat it too much though because you don't want to like lose the shape. And I guess I just use the heating gun to make it a little more flexible. You can also use a hair dryer to do that. We're going to force it on. <laughs> this might look a little bit aggressive. You would be surprised how many, um, like how physical a lot of stuff like this is in, in the reborning world. There he is. His head is on and oh my word, he's so stinking cute. His head is floppy, just like a real baby. Oh my word, he's so cute. And then the nice thing is, is his um, belly plate and his back plate still do fit him. So like if you want to pose him, it's probably going to be hard to do on this pillow. Oh goodness. <clears throat> and this will depend on how long of a body. See, it's hard to do because I'm not going to be able to lay him flat. Oh, <laughs> But you can see lengthwise it does fit him really well. So if you were laying him on a flat surface, you could have a blanket like up here on this torso area. You can get a really cute picture with that. And then of course his um, front plate, his belly plate also works with him. Just like that. See there? Isn't it cute? And then you need like a little diaper on him. Do I have some diapers that will fit? I think I took all my preemie diapers inside. Let's see what I got. Let's see what I got. I got some new boys here. They're a little bit big on them, but let's check it out. A newborn diaper. Let's position our diaper correctly. And honestly, in hindsight, I probably should have had the seamstress do a darker cloth body, but it's okay. This was mainly kind of an experiment. I wanted to work on a couple of them, but oh my goodness, he's so cute. Look at him. <laughs> he's so cute, and I love his new eyes. Oh my goodness, he's a cutie. Anyway, guys, so that is how you can turn um, your play babies, especially your full vinyl ones, into... Um, one that's a lot more cuddly and poseable and snuggly. If you take his, his sorry, puts away, put his diaper on a little bit tighter here. He's just so snuggly and adorable. There he is. All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoy watching this video, and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in another one very soon. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, maybe take a second to hit the subscribe button, if you want to that is. No pressure. But if you decide to do so, there's also a bell notification right next to that subscribe button. You can't miss it. That way you will always get notified every time I upload a video. Again, that's also extremely optional. No pressure. But we have fun here, so it can't hurt, right? Ha ha! Courtney out.